my dear brother and my dear sister please look at the atmosphere <coughs> look at the wind how it raises the cloud and look at the cloud how it spread in the sky and if you look at it you see rain coming forth from the cloud now look at the earth how it ab absorbs the rain and by the permission of Allah food comes out now look look at the sea and look at the mountains look at the oceans brother please look again look at the sky look how the heaven is constructed without any pillar that holds it and look at the bird glide in the atmosphere keep looking and look at the pregnant woman look at the pregnant woman from the first month of her pregnancy now look till the day of her delivery see how the baby came out of her and see how weak the baby was see how the weak the baby is and gradually step by step the baby is growing is getting stronger and stronger and stronger and after some time that weak baby that is now the strongest man on earth will return back to the weakness that he started with brother if you look at all this movement if you look at it and observe it carefully you know اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى اله وصحبه الاتقياء البرره وعلى من هدى هدوهم وسلك سبيلهم الى يوم الدين وبعد my dear brother truly one day i will die one day you will die yes you one day she will die one day we will all go do you know why <laughs> ya rasulallah oh my messenger my prophet وَمَا جَعَلْنَا لِبَشَرٍ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ الْخُلْدِ I did not grant immortality to anyone before you, Ya Rasulullah. أَفَإِنْ مُتَّفَهُمُ الْخَالِدُونَ So if you die, are they going to stay forever? كُلُّ نَفْسٍ ذَائِقَةُ الْمَوْتِ Every soul shall taste death. One day I will be no more. One day you will be no more. One day we will all go. When I belook be shanni wal khayri fitna, and we shall test you with evil and good. And listen, wa ilayna tawjoon. And to us you will return. And to us, to us, you will be returned. Brother, if you understand this piece right here, do everything, in everything you do, say la ilaha illallah. In everything you do, your actions, your moves, whatever you do, make sure you say la ilaha illallah make sure you do it for la ilaha illallah because you will return to la ilaha illallah so all your actions say 
إن صلاتي ونسكي ومحياي ومماتي لله إن صلاتي indeed my prayers ونسكي and my ritual sacrifice ومحياي ومماتي لله and my living and my death all are for Allah Lillahi Rabbil Alameen Everything about me is for Allah the Lord of the worlds brothers and sisters in faith in everything you do make sure you worship him alone because you will be returned to him he has no partner he is one in his kingdom he is the absolute let me end it well and you let so brother say la ilaha illallah there is no god but allah i testify he alone deserves to be worshipped and i testify and believe that our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a last last and final messenger brother whenever you hear la ilaha illallah what follows is muhammadur rasulullah wa dhamma al-ilahu isma al-nabiyyi ila ismihi idha qala fil khamsi al-mu'adhin ashadu wa shakka lahu min ismihi liyujil lahu fadhul arshi mahmudu wa hadha muhammadu Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik alayhi whenever you hear la ilaha illallah what follows is muhammadur rasulullah so if you want Allah to be pleased with you you want Allah to accept you Obey Sayyiduna Rasulullah. Follow the footsteps of Sayyiduna Rasulullah. Answer the call of Sayyiduna Rasulullah. And listen to Allah. If you obey the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you will be guided. May Allah guide us all. Allahumma Amin. My dear brother and my dear sister. Please look at the atmosphere. <coughs> look at the wind. <coughs> How it raises the cloud. And look at the cloud. How it spread in the sky. And if you look at it, you see rain coming forth from the cloud. Now look at the earth. How it absorbs the rain. And by the permission of Allah, food comes out. Now look. Look at the sea. And look at the mountains. Look at the oceans, brother. Please look again. Look at the sky. Look how the heaven is constructed without any pillar that holds it. And look at the bird glide in the atmosphere. Keep looking and look at the pregnant woman. Look at the pregnant woman from the first month of her pregnancy now look till the day of her delivery see how the baby came out of her and see how weak the baby was see how the weak the baby is and gradually step by step the baby is growing it's getting stronger and stronger and stronger and after some time that weak baby that is now the strongest man on earth will return back to the weakness that he started with brother if you look at all this movement if you look at it and observe it carefully you know that is because Allah is the truth. Whatever you see, the movement you see, you look up and down. If 
in everything you see, you know Allah is the truth. So Allah is al-haqqu, the truth. Allah is al-haqqu, the reality. Allah is al-haqqu, the existing truth. Allah. ذَلِكَ بِأَنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الْحَقَّ That is because Allah is the truth. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters in faith. Allah is the truth and everything about Allah is true. His power and ability and capability is truth. His speech is true. His promise is true. Meeting him is true. Whatever he says is true because he is the truth. Allah. He is the truth. And my dear brother, and my dear sister, because he is the truth, he never breaks his promise. Allah never breaks his promise. وعد الله لا يخلف الله وعده. That is Allah's promise. Allah never breaks His promises. Allah never failed to fulfill His promise because He is the truth. Didn't you hear what Allah said in Surah Al-Rum? Alif Lam. Allah said the Romans were defeated they have been defeated but subhanallah Allah promised that after their defeat they will be victorious Allah informed the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that after defeat, the defeat of the Romans, they were defeated, they will come back victorious. They will overcome and ask the history. That was what happened. Why? Because Allah never, never, never breaks His promise. Allah never breaks His promise. Whenever He promises something, He always fulfills His promise. Because he is Allah. وعد الله لا الله عنده ولكن أكثر الناس لا يعلمون. But many people do not know. Many people do not know the reality. They don't know who Allah is. But brother and my dear sister, know that Allah is al haqqu It is Allah is the truth, and Allah never breaks His promises. And He is calling the humanity. Ya ayyuhannas, O humankind. Ya ayyuhannas, O people. Indeed, Allah's promise is true. Allah's promise is true. Whenever He promises something, He fulfills His promises. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because He is al haqqu And His promise is whoever does good, he will reward him. Whoever does good, he will return it back to him in folds. Whoever does good, he will multiply it for him. My dear brothers and sisters in faith, if you understand this piece right here, if you understand this, my advice for myself and to you, brother, is work for Allah. Whatever you do in life, make sure you do it for the sake of Allah. Work for the cause of Allah because to Him you shall return. Because to Him you will return. You will go back to Him. And brother, when you go back to Allah, 
you return to Allah, listen to Allah, work, do the action, act, tell them, act, work, do the action, do your deeds, do the action, work. Do it for the sake of Allah. Allah will see your work. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will see your work, will see what you did for the deen that he came and preached for, will see what, what was your contribution for the deen of Allah. And your fellow brothers and sisters, the believers will also see your work. This was your action. You were part of the movement of Masjid Hamza. You were part of the movement of an, of, of, of an Islamic institution. You were part of the movement of this, of that. Anything that pleases Allah, whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to do, Allah wants you and I to uplift and work for the deen of Allah. That's why he brought you and I here to work for the deen of Allah, to uplift, uplift the deen of Allah. And he's telling you, do the action, he will see it, his prophet will see it, and the believers will see it. And after that, after that, after that, وَسَتُرَدُّونَ إِلَىٰ عَالِمِ الْغَيْبِ وَالشَّهَادَةِ And you will be returned to the Noah, the one who knows the unseen and the manifest. The one who knows what is hidden and what is clear and what is manifest. You will be returned to him that's all? No. And he will inform you of what you did. Imagine. You stand before Allah. Just imagine this. Allah raised you. He brought you back to life after death. And this is the truth. You standing before your creator. He said, my good servant, thank you. You helped my being. You helped raise the flag of La ilaha illallah. You helped Islam. You worked for my deen. You helped the needy and the poor. And today, I will fulfill my promise to you. I forgive you and straight to heaven. How does it feel? How will that feel? وَسَتُرَدُّونَ إِلَىٰ عَالِمِ الْغَيْبِ وَالشَّهَادَةِ فَيُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ And he will inform you of what you did. So brother, this is Allah's promise and now listen. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Oh you who believe, listen, listen. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu Oh you who believe in the last day Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu Oh you who believe in Allah's promise Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu Oh you who believe in resurrection Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu Oh you who believe in the day of accountability Allah Ya Allah Allah's promise Allah Allah said if you help in the cause of Allah if you do for the sake of Allah if you do things and act for the sake of Allah if you help and uplift La ilaha illallah if you help the deen of Allah if you stand for Allah, Allah's promise. Allah said He will help you. Uh, Allah said, If you help my deen, if you work for my sake, I will help you and I will make you firm. I will make you strong. Brother, Allah will make you strong and firm on the day that you're going to cross the bridge. 
ده الصراط وإن منكم إلا والدها You heard about the Sirat, the day of judgment. You and I will cross over that bridge, that thin bridge. On that day, Allah promised He will make you strong. He will make your feet firm so you'll be able to cross. Why? Because you help the deen of Allah. In Tansurullah, Yansukum, wa yuthabit aqadamakum. So, my brother and my dear sister, Allah. In his mercy, he chose some people, very special people, unique people, who always stand for him, who always stand for his deen, who always love to work for his deen and listen to Allah. Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, إِذَا أَرَادَ اللَّهُ بِعَبْدٍ خَيْرَ إِسْتَعْمَلَ if Allah loves good for his slave, he puts that slave to work. He make you work. He make you act for the goodness. He make you act for the sake of Allah. He make you act for the cause of Allah. He make you spend for the cause of Allah. He make you do for Allah to uplift La ilaha illallah. Listen. Qalu. كَيْفَ يَسْتَعْمِلُهُ يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ How is Allah going to employ the person? How is Allah going to make put the person to work? يُوَفِّقُهُ لِعَمَلٍ صَالِحٍ ثُمَّ يَقْبِضُهُ عَلَيْهِ Allah will make you work. Allah will put the love of doing good deeds in your heart. Whenever you hear, this is for Allah. Allah is asking for help. This is for the cause of Allah. This is to uplift La ilaha illallah. This is to help the deen of Allah. You are there. You are standing for that. You are working for that. Allah will make you continue doing that until one day. Until one day. Listen. Ya ayyatuhan nafs. You know what day is that, right? The day that the angel of death will come and will be praising your soul. Ya ayyatuhan nafsu mutma'inna irji'i ila rabbiki ratiyatan marudiyya fadukhuli fi ibadi Come out! You did the work. Now it's time to go and rest. Allah is calling you. Come, you're about to die, but Allah is waiting to receive you. And man ahabba liqa Allah, ahabba Allah liqa. Aku liqa li hada wa astaghfirullah li walakum.